Hi guys, my name is Michael. I'm with Jackie Cooper Nissan here in Tulsa. Today I've got one of my favorite vehicles back behind me. This is a full Nismo 370Z and until you get to the GTR in our line, this is the baddest car that we make. Now, Nismo is our in-house tuning company like say AMG is to Mercedes. So these are the people that we have that we send a car to to make it more aggressive, more sporty, things like that, and just make it uh, a more emotional version of the car. So this is easily the most aggressive and exciting Z that we have. Uh, kind of give you an idea of how this one's different from a normal Z. Uh, just starting out, your obvious stuff on the bodies, this thing has some extra additives that the regular one doesn't. You can see on the front, you've got an added front spoiler down there. Uh, on the sides, you've got the red side skirts on it that your normal one isn't going to have. And then back here at the back, you've got an upgraded diffuser back here. It's going to help your airflow and everything back here at the back. Now these things aren't made just to make the car look cooler. They actually have a purpose to try to make the airflow conditioned and shaped around the car as you're driving. That way you're not creating a bunch of drag when you're driving it, but in some cases you're actually doing a, getting a little bit of usable downforce on the car. Now, downforce, if you think of sticking your hand out the window at say 60 miles an hour, you get that force back on your hand from the wind resistance. Racing manufacturers a long time ago realized that if you could take that and use it to where instead of pushing back on the car, it's pushing down on the car, you're actually getting more weight onto your tires, which is going to create more grip, which makes this thing handle a little bit better. On top of that, with the Nismo one in that vein to help it have better handling ability, the front and the rear tires are a set that are only on the Nismo and they're half an inch wider than the regular ones are. So it's just an added amount of grip that you have on there with the upgraded Nismo suspension that makes it a little bit stiffer. All these things get together to make it handle better than even a normal Z, which is already an incredibly handling, an incredible handling car. Uh, but then on top of that, you've got the engine stuff. So let's take a look at that. All right, so there's not a whole lot of difference in the engine between a regular Z and a Nismo Z. It has about eight, not about, it's got 18 more horsepower than a regular one does, but that's largely down to the exhaust system. It's got the Nismo exhaust on it, which allows it to breathe a little bit better. And it's also got the, uh, the electronics tuned a little bit different for this one. Uh, than the normal one does. So it makes about 18 more horsepower than a regular Z does. You've also got the reinforced strut bars here. Uh, so the body stays more rigid, uh, helps it with your cornering, things like that. That way the body's not flexing as you do it. But you get the fancy red top on this one. Uh, you've got dual air filters here and air inlets. If you can see there, it's got two nostrils there. These things are super easy if you ever have to replace them. You just pull it right out and I mean it's that easy replacing an air filter in one of these and you've got two of them down here so it gets good uh, airflow whenever you're doing it trying to drive it uh, everything's really easily accessible you've got your power steering fluid your coolant your dipsticks your brake fluids up underneath there batteries are over on this side uh, but it's an awesome engine I mean if you read about this VQ engine that is in this you'll find out that it is very well respected within the uh, community. I mean, it is an awesome, awesome engine. But let's look inside the car too. All right, so inside this one, you've still got the same Nissan Intelligent key that all of our cars have. So you just get in, put your foot on the brake, and press the start button. As long as you got the key in your car, it starts right up. Uh, it is comfortable inside here. The main differences between this Nismo and a normal Z are going to be like your seats. This one actually has a full Recaro racing seat in it with the extra side holsters here to help hold you in whenever you are uh, going around a corner quickly or you're driving it in a more spirited fashion. Uh, you've also got the Alcantara steering wheel here which is different than the normal one. It gives you a little bit better grip here and it feels better on your hands. You got the center point red line on there so you know whatever where your center, center your steering center point is at. Uh, one thing I do like about the new Nismos though as opposed to the older ones is they used to just strip this thing completely out the essence of saving weight. Uh, obviously the lighter the car is the better it's going to be on handling but they've decided not to go 
all out with that anymore. So you actually get a nice nav unit, you get the Bose sound system in it, you actually get a comfortable car without them just stripping everything out for the sake of weight. Uh, so it is a comfortable car, it is a nice car inside here, and it's fun to drive. So let's go do that. All right, so driving one of these things, that's the fun part of it. Now, you will feel that the Nismo has a little bit stiffer suspension than the regular one, but it's still usable every day. It doesn't beat you to death, absolutely. Uh, but it is a little bit more aggressive than a regular Z is with the, uh, the way that it's tuned. It's made to hold on to the ground a little bit more, but it's going to show you how this thing drives. So this hop on here now we're not on a closed course so we've got to keep it out of the speed limit but even at you know three quarters acceleration this thing is super duper quick so that got us to 60 and next to nothing in fact the zero to 60 time on this car is 4.7 seconds and for comparison a 1997 ferrari f355 went zero to 60 in 4.7 seconds so this is the same as a 90s Ferrari would be if you consider how quick this thing actually is. There's a couple different ways you can drive this one. They make it with a full manual. This one is the automatic system, but you can actually flip it over to full manual and then you've got your, your paddles back here that you can use to, to actually shift the gears. One of the things I like about it is that it's an actual sports car, so this one doesn't do a whole lot of thinking for you. A lot of cars that you find that have the paddle shifters, it, the, the transmission kind of thinks for you. So if it thinks you need to be shifting and you're not doing it, the car will do it itself. This one, you've actually got to be controlling it. So if I want to drop a gear, I just hit the button and there it is. If I want to go up, I just hit the button and there it is. I've actually got to control it just like a true manual transmission. Now, I love a true manual, but in reality, this thing is a lot faster. If I was on a racetrack against a car that had a full, autom or full manual transmission with the clutch and everything, it would actually go around slower than this would because this one shifts in a blink rather than in the time it takes me to physically move all that stuff. Uh, so it's a ton of fun to drive. It shifts really, really quick with this. I do think this is probably the best way to have one of these is with uh, the paddle gearbox back here. But they're nice and long, so it makes it easy to reach to whenever you're driving. So whenever you're holding the steering wheel in the spots that you're supposed to, even if you're turning the wheel, you have some access to those things. Now we're going to take an exit ramp here and kind of go around the curve a little bit let you see how it feels around that and talk about it but it's going to stay extremely flat one of these cars is made to be a handling car that's a true sports car build it's not just a ton of horsepower thrown in there so you can go fast in a straight line this one is made to be an all-around car that you can have fun with in, in virtually any circumstance so as we go get up here to this off ramp this thing's gonna go a full 360 degrees and you can't feel it through the camera but I mean this thing stays as flat as it could possibly be you could go into this thing extremely fast and the cars in front of us are kind of ruining our fun but you could go through this thing really 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 fast and this car will just absolutely stick to the ground uh, it is a blast to drive around something like this so what we're going to do is we're going to get back on here and maybe we can let it accelerate around the corner getting back on if we can find a good spot okay we got to stay somewhat under the under the speed limit so we get, aren't breaking the law here but here we go so I'm going to downshift with my paddle shifters, get the RPMs up a little bit. Now as we go around this thing, let it get in, let it settle. I mean, I'll be honest with you, we're going 60 miles an hour here and the car feels like it could do this considerably faster if it wanted to. I mean, it is just a handling car. It goes fast in a straight line whenever you want it to, but you want to play with it around corners. It does everything you could ask of it. You took this thing on a racetrack, it would be a blast to drive. Uh, Nismo 
did a wonderful, wonderful job tuning these things to make it a little bit more aggressive than the regular Z, make it a little bit more race ready. But if what you want is a sports car that you can use every single day that will give you a ton of fun and is better than the average average one you see running around, this Nismo would definitely be the way to go. This is a beautiful, beautiful car and it's extremely 